When I first started blogging about it, I was hesitant to because I didn't know how people would react to it. Um, but I felt like I was creating a false history by not being honest about it. You know, if I was spending an entire week in bed unable to move and unable to get anything done, and then I was publishing these old posts of these funny things and people were like, that's so funny, that's so, and then inside I was just like, I just want to, I just want to die. Um, and so I decided that the only way that I could do this was to be honest about it. And um, I was shocked at not only the response of people saying, I get it, I'm with you, I feel the same way, but the response of people who went and read read the posts and would read the thousands of commenters who would leave mm -hmm. comments saying, oh my god, I thought I was the only one. And then they would realize there's thousands of us like that. Like it's, it's not just it's not just me. And it's not just a couple of people who stand up and say, I have depression or I'm bipolar or I have anxiety disorder or I hurt myself or whatever it is. But it's like almost all of us have something inside that we keep a little bit hidden. Um, I have gotten, uh, and I have to say, it's been the most rewarding thing that I've gotten is I've gotten a lot of letters from people who wanted to commit suicide and were on that path and changed their mind, um, not necessarily because of the post I wrote, but because of the comments, because they saw everybody else. And it was so wonderful to be able to, to think that I'm part of this community that saved lives and that there are, you know, like moms and dads who are alive today because... Because there were other people who were brave enough to say, me too, I'm, you know, you're not alone.